been nearly six years since the Matera Paper Building burned down, and in that time, the property on South First and Abilene has remained in limbo, waiting for someone to do something with it. And that day has come. KTAB City reporter Nathan Grave joins us live in studio, but earlier he was at the corner of South First and Oak to learn about the plans for the future. Nathan has tonight's top story. You know, standing at the bottom of that pit, you can almost imagine that the walls and floors and people going about their day are still all around you, but it's not going to be long before some life is injected back into this piece of the soda district. February 2012, the Matera Paper Building catches fire and burns to the ground, leaving an empty pit in place of the historic building. After years of this property looking much like you see it right now, things are about to change. That's because at long last it's been purchased by someone who knows a thing or two about refurbishing old buildings. People really seem to like it and uh, so I would eyeball this property thinking, man, somebody needs to do something with all that rubble and uh, just started dreaming and wishing and here we are. There are challenges ahead, but there have already been challenges to overcome even getting to this point. The city viewed this as something to be condemned. And uh, there's a condemnation suit that was pending against this property. Uh, there are some property taxes. So as a person, as they look at this initially, there's some things to scare them off. There might not be any concrete plans yet, but this space has some new life on the way. There's any number of directions we could go with it. Uh, the only promise that I'll make is that it's going to be better than it is today. Tim's imagination, when it comes together with his uh, construction savvy and his ability to take on a project, is going to be something we'll all love. And of course, being a hole in the ground, it's essentially <laughs> a clean slate to build just about anything, Nathan. Well, just about. It, it is a hole, but there's quite a bit of history there in the soda, and that's south of downtown Abilene District. So all of that history will play into whatever moves in.